Today is Juneteenth, the time to honor the emancipation of black people who were enslaved in the U.S. But even today, there's still a struggle for equality, and it includes health and access to health care. Our Larry Miller asked a health expert how we can all support health equity this Juneteenth. In the U.S., black infants die before their first birthday at higher rates than white infants. Black women die during or soon after pregnancy more often than white women. And the life expectancy for those who are black is significantly less. It's not just a race thing, but the race thing is real and it's consistent and it is rooted in the reasons that we recognize Juneteenth today. Dina Chisholm researches health equity at Nationwide Children's Hospital. She says that while some progress has been made over generations, the U.S. still has a long way to go. When we leave folks behind, we create a situation where not everyone has an equal opportunity for success in school and not everyone has an equal opportunity for success in jobs. Chisholm says there are significant statistical gaps in health outcomes and health care access for the black community, those who live in rural areas and for people who have a low income to change this. She says we first have to recognize the disparities. Identify where the ways we're doing things impact populations differently in a way that generates differential outcomes and then figure out how to fix it. And after awareness comes action. Chisholm says everyone can play a role in making impactful changes to health for all, no matter their job. You, the doctor, and you, the nurse, and you, the teacher, and you, the social worker, and you, the member of the community are all part of what we can do to close that gap. Larry Miller, WUSA 9. Chisholm goes on to say the health is the foundation upon which everything else is built. So she says if health is improved for all, children have the opportunity to do better in school. Adults could be more productive at work. And she says healthy citizens tend to be more engaged in their communities.